question says to perform the indicated operation and simplify it completely. In the first expression, we have a squared minus a minus 2 all over a squared minus a minus 6. We're taking that rational expression and dividing by a squared minus 2a all over 2a plus a squared. Well, first we can rewrite this. When we see a division sign, we can change to multiplication and take the reciprocal of the very next term. Well, the reciprocal just means to flip the numerator with the denominator and the denominator with the numerator. So in order to do that, we have a squared minus a minus 2 all over a squared minus a minus 6, just rewriting that expression, change to multiplication, and then take the reciprocal. So we had a squared minus 2a, we're now going to put that in the denominator, and 2a plus a squared we're going to write in the numerator. Now we take this expression and rewrite it in descending order so that it helps us simplify things down later on. So doing so, we'll have rewriting the first expression, a squared minus a minus 2 all over a squared minus a minus 6 times. We'll write a squared first and then plus 2a, that's written in descending order, highest term exponent first followed by the next highest and so on, all over a squared minus 2a. Now from this standpoint, we need to simplify down. In order to simplify down in algebra, we just call that factoring first. Well, in order to factor, I have to look at each individual numerator and denominator individually. So I look at the numerator of the first term. I have a squared minus a minus 2. Well, I can't find the greatest common factor, so my next step is to think about reverse foiling it. So what I have is I need two parentheses and find the factors of a squared. Well, the factors of a squared are a times a, so I put them in the first, each of the first parentheses inside, first term. And then I look at the last term of negative 2, and I find the factors of that such that when I add them together, I get negative 1a in the center. So my factors are negative 2 and positive 1, because when I distribute out and check my work, I get a times a is a squared. Outside term is positive a, inside term is negative 2a, well that would get to negative a. And then last term multiply together, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So I can simplify down, check my work. On the second uh, expression that we have in the denominator of the first term, we have a squared minus a minus 6, I can't find the greatest common factor for that. So I have to think about reverse foiling, so I set up two parentheses first. Then I look at the factors of a squared. Well, the factors of a squared are still a and a. So when we multiply together, we get a times a is a squared. And then I look at the factors of negative 6, such that when I add them together, I would get negative 1a in the center. Well, negative 3 and positive 2 would get me to a negative 1 when I add them together. So I have negative 3 and positive 2. And I can check my work. I have foiling it out, or distributive property. a times a is a squared. Last term, is, outside term is 2 times a is 2a. Inside term is negative 3a. So negative 3a plus 2a is a negative a. And then last term multiplied together is negative 3 times a positive 2 is a negative 6. So I can always check my work to make sure that my factoring is correct. On the second fraction that we have, we look at the numerator. We have a squared plus 2a. I look to see if I can find the greatest common factor. And I actually do have a greatest common factor because a goes into a squared and it also goes into 2a evenly. So I factor out a greatest common factor of a, and then I write my parentheses and I have what's left over. a squared divided by that greatest common factor is a, and then 2a divided by that greatest common factor is 2. So that when I distribute back out, a times a is still a squared, and a times positive 2 is positive 2a. So I can check my work to get back to where I started. In the denominator of my second expression, I have a squared minus 2a. I look to see if there's a greatest common factor, and there is, because a goes into a squared evenly, and it also goes into negative 2a evenly as well. So I look and distribute out to check my work to see what I have, and it does work because a times a is a squared, and a times negative 2 is negative 2a. I can't go any further here. I can't reverse foil because I have no squared term. So these are finished, I don't need to continue factoring them. And same with these, I can't simplify any, any, any further at this point. 
But what I'd love to see is I know each term in the numerator is being multiplied by each and every other term. Same thing in the denominator. So I'm multiplying my first term across. What, as long as I'm multiplying and I see the exact same thing on the top as well as the bottom, then what I can do is cross out. So I see a, a plus 2 has to be the whole thing going together. And the a plus 2 down here goes together, so I can cross those out. And I see an a on top and an a on bottom, and that crosses out. Because a over a is 1, so is a plus 2 over a plus 2, that's really 1. So ultimately they cross out, but they become 1, 1, 1, and 1. And then I see a, a minus 2 on the top, and also on the bottom, and that crosses out, and a minus 1 on a minus 2 over a minus 2 is still 1. So now I don't see anything else that I can cross out. So I see my final answer should be 1 times this whole thing of a plus 1. Well, that's just a plus 1, right, times 1. And then times 1 is still a plus 1. So that should be in the numerator. And then the only thing left over I see in the denominator is a minus 3. So the final answer should be a plus 1 in the numerator. You can leave that in parentheses, but the whole thing has to be over a minus 3. Final answer.